Okay, so now we're at the stage where everything has been cleaned, it's been sanitized, and we're ready to start brewing. Um, I've gone ahead and pulled up the instructions on the uh, Brooklyn Brew Shop website because the, um, the instructions that are on the side of the box are actually not specific enough um, and they don't include any other instructions with the kit beyond what's, uh, what's on the side of the box. So you'll want to go, if you're going to brew one of these kits, you'll want to go to the Brooklyn Brew Shop website, um, uh, brooklynbrewshop.com slash instructions and pull up the instructions for the specific uh, brew that, or beer that you're brewing. Um, so for me, this is the afternoon wheat. I pulled that up, and for the afternoon wheat, um, we're going to uh, the, the instructions first say to bring the um, bring two quarts of water to 160 degrees. So I'm cheating here a little bit because I've got this handy dandy um, electric thermometer that will. Uh, let me know when it's reached 160. I've slowly brought the temperature up to 160 um, by bringing the temperature, uh, uh, the burner up to a medium heat so that it can gradually get warmer. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add this entire big bag of grains. It smells like bird food or something. Cool, so you definitely want to give it a little bit of a stir because um, if you just leave it sitting there, uh, the grains can burn and that will definitely affect the taste of your beer. You'll notice it. So, i got this little guy going. And now we want to keep it um, at between, uh, was it 144 and 152 for the next hour. You don't need to consistently apply heat during that time. I'll go ahead and lay this down over here. Um, you don't need to consistently apply heat during that time, but you will need to check in periodically and possibly raise the temperature um, on the burner in order to bring the temperature up. So by virtue of adding the grains that should have brought the temperature down, oh god, oh god, oh god, why is it that hot? <laughs> okay, better, better. I think I must have been touching the bottom or something. Hmm. So we're on the upper end of the temperature scale here and I'm at a low. I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off for a second. So now we're off and letting our oatmeal soup, which is also called in technical terms the mash, we're going to just let that sit for a little bit. Alright, we're 50 minutes into um, uh, the first cycle of heating our grains here and there's uh, only about 10 minutes left. Uh, my big lesson learned here is I am I am fighting with uh, keeping the temperature in the right range um, you know between that 144 and 152 sweet spot um, so that's definitely requiring me to stand over the oven or over the stove and make sure that I keep the temperature within that range and uh, pretty much keeping the thermometer in there uh, during that whole time to keep an eye on it. Um, so that's kind of inconvenient, not really a fun part, but um, I guess uh, no pain no gain, right? Alright, well, got. Um, I've also got my uh, four quarts of water heating up. So I've got about eight and a half minutes on the clock. Once that's up, I'll have reached 60 minutes within this 144 to 152 range. And once that, uh, once I hit 60 minutes, my next goal is to bring the temperature of this stock pot, aka everything within here known as the mash, bring the temperature of the mash up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Once I've got it up to 170, I'm done with this particular step and what I need to do, I'll transfer them out of here in, through a strainer and get all of this liquid that's left from the two quarts of water that we put in and that'll, uh, that'll leave us with what's called the wort, W-O-R-T, wort. 
um, and uh, and then we'll need to um, pour our boiled water that we, that I've got going on over here. We're going to pour that over the strained grains into our strained out wort, and that's going to give us the the liquid that we're going to boil that is going to eventually become our beer.